I'm going to present some of the initial work done by mostly the Jamal Khan. He's the one graduate student from Buet. And we work together to try defining his work. I just present some of the initial analysis. This is a little bit technical, I think. So a lot of competition he did. And just try to do the major finding how he did it. I try to explain some of the findings here. Oh, we know the blast is already know the mostly confined in Latin America, uh, South America, some of the countries in uh, northeastern Argentina and lowland of the Bolivia and central and south central Brazil and some part of the Paraguay. But in 2016, we get some epidemic in southwestern part of the country mostly in Joshua Meherpur, some part of uh, Joshua, Chuadanga, Jinaida, a little in Pavna, and some great stands in Bhola, and some is little in the Bodhishal area, and the Russia area. This is the map I get from the Ismail Tofajal Ocean. He developed this map, May, might be, there is some, I don't know. Actually, the data he get from the DAE, he mentioned his paper, the infestation, but I am not sure that this is accurate or not, because a lot of uncertainty of the data or how we calculate the uh, rate of infection and ill loss, ill loss. So it's estimated. Yeah, it's estimated. It's I estimated or visually estimated. I don't know. Actually, uh, this uh, blast event actually uh, we uh, mostly likely to be uh, related to the two rain e event occurred in February 8 to 9, and another is 23rd and 25th. First event occurred in southwestern part of the country from Feb February 8 to 9. There's a heavy rainfall. And second event, and the first infestation occurred here. And then the second infestation, we guess, is come here due to the this storm. And we get the symptom here after last week of February, not first week of in the middle of the February. So this is my maybe some relationship with waiting period, the heavy rainfall. And we also see that the very high minimum temperatures, abnormally high for long term ORS. Just we, I put uh, two weather station data, Bodhishal and Joshua, because we don't have a weather station in Vola. And we have a Vola maybe. I, we don't have the data, we get the similar pattern. And also this, um, because before that we don't have any uh, blast uh, infestation before 26th. It might be there is some infestation in localized, but I don't know. Because when there's some epidemic occurred, then we have to notice there is some infestation. So Islam and maybe Dr. Malakar worked, did some of the work, and they found close association of this uh, pathotype with South American pathotypes. So exact weather condition required for immediate is still not defined. And it was coincide with waiting year. Wait year in Latin America, the high rainfall and humidity and in heading period. And sometimes it coincide with El Nino period. And some growth chamber studies show that infection is observed above 30 degrees centigrade. And increase with weight of uh, in case of duration of waiting period, with lowest occurred at 25 degrees centigrade and 10 hours of spike weakness. And regardless of the temperature, no symptoms occurred when the waiting period was less than 10 hours. This is the important factor of the waiting period. Because this year, in January, you get some of the infestation in <coughs> Joshua area. Because temperature is a little bit mild, but there is a lot of dew and the uh, Maybe 10 hours, more than 10 hours, is the start from 7 to night and continue up to 9 o'clock before sunrise. So maybe the reason to get the localized infestation, but we are not expecting epidemic because there's no storm, no rainfall all over the country. So this, will, uh, this has given some motivation to do some uh, analysis, whether there is a past occurrence, whether it is this kind of environment is still prevalence is last uh, 
30 years in our country. So we used the simple genetic infection model was developed by Merger et al. Predicting infection period by fungal, any foliar fung fungal pathogen. This model is designed primarily for the use of forecasting pathogens that do not have extensive epidemiological data because BLAST has this, the perfect candidate. We don't have a exact epidemiological data. So use the ECMWF gridded data, is a 12 meter gridded data, and it from 1979 to 2016, and database contain dew point temperatures. We use the dew point temperatures to calculate the relative humidity and minimum temper, maximum, and total precipitation. So this we use this model. This is the temperature wetness response model. So this is the main function here is that there is a one is very difficult to calculate the temperature res response function. So the Jamal able to uh, find out how to calculate these things. So he used this model to calculate the F uh, temperature function. So this function is a very get, uh, good advantage of the animal. This is the exponential response to at low temperatures and positive li linear response to intermediate temperatures and probable response at optimum temperature and the negative response at high temperatures. So uh, for this analysis, we assume uh, we have uh, we have a scenario, several scenario, to whether leaf is wet or not. So we consider the when the precipitation with one millimeter or higher for three years, leaf might be wet, or surface might be wet. We are not considering the leaf or spikelet with the surface of the plant. And daily rainfall is is higher than eight millimeter or higher, or relative humidity eighty percent for. 90% for three hours, a relative height, 90% for 24 hours. Then we calculate the infection numbers. So we only use the February data. We assume that the, most of the panicle in, spikelet initiation occurred in Bangladesh within the February, but we are slightly wrong. Maybe it's not from the last week of January. So we're gonna revise this analysis for start from January 15 to March 15, is the extreme late condition of wheat. So this is the first uh, preliminary output, the occurrence of two scenario here is related to the precipitation. So this is the gridded product. It is so this all of the high occurrences occurs in southwestern part of the country, uh, south, uh, northeastern part of the country, uh, west eastern part of the country, and there is a very little wheat here. Uh, this is the relative humidity related maps. So what it did, actually, we then do some re, um, do some geospatial analysis, try to overlay these two map. Actually, we considered the area where wheat area layer uh, greater than 500 hectares. And this is the BRC map, the suitability index map, where wheat is uh, moderately suitable to very suitable then do the overlay to map, then we get the, this map. This map shows that this is the precipitation on millimeter higher uh, uh, for three hours. We get that the most of the northern part of the country occurrence of this blast is very low. And there is some intermediate probability here in southwestern part of the country. And there is a high probability here in Bola Island. And second scenario, this is when is the rainfall is eight millimeter higher. So you get the most of this uh, occurrence here and there is a some occurrence, high occurrence because the wheat area is very low here compared to this part of the country. So the, when the relative 90% higher for three years, we get the less probability of this part of the country. And this almost similar probability range here. It's less area we found. And it's for 24 hours, again, we get this, this part of the country, and there is a, some probability 0 0.5 to 0 0.6 here in southwestern part of the country. So this is our initial output. So we are going to re re revisit this analysis again. And most important things, we don't have an exact data to how to, we need a lot of epidemiological data to define this study. Whatever we have, the literature and 
and mostly the literature, all of the data is a growth chamber condition, the very little in the field condition. So during our survey, if you do some of the data generation, the quantitative analysis, something, maybe this year not, I don't know, the infection rate is how much, then we can do quantitative analysis, yield loss and everything, and all of the way that data related to the field, then we can develop the better models. So for conclusion, I do nothing, because we have to do a lot of things. So we cannot conclude here very definite way. So you have all of the data, and we have epidemiological study data, we can refine this analysis. Thank you.